Psalm 51 and 12. Bless you. Bless you. Scripture says in Psalm 51 and 12, can we read it together on the screen and it reads out loud? It says, Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Amen. You may take a seat in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Give God a praise for the reading of his word. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. And he said, and sustain me. Sustain me. Somebody shout with a willing spirit. So he says, sustain me with a willing spirit. My God, my God. And, and I want to just talk this morning, amen, about God will restore you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Look at somebody in time. God will restore you. Amen. Amen. You know, the interesting thing about this scripture is our foundation scripture. Is where we found out that the Lord was speaking restoration in the atmosphere. And in order for the Lord to restore for us to be able to restore some, amen, God had to restore us. You know, in order for you to be able to help someone, you have to be able to help yourself. But interesting passage of scripture and, and here, and the Bible says that David prayed for restoration of divine comfort and divine grace. So David sought the Lord. This is why the Bible says he was a man after God's own heart. And 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 when you we, the reason why he was a man after God's own heart is because David felt a place in the kingdom. Even though David had messed up. But you know when someone messes up. You almost have to go back. And see what happened. What causes someone. To mess up. We can always see. The reaction. But we fail to look at the action and even though it may not be a good excuse but it still relies there and to someone an excuse to you may be a problem to them what I love about David is his conscience wouldn't allow him to go any further See, when, 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 when you are in love with God, when you have a relationship with God, you have a conscience. Come on, somebody. Come on. You, you just don't, or you can't, you just can't do people any kind of way and expect to snore. Come on, you can't just and expect to eat up everything. You just, you just can't do people any kind of way because something will bother you on the inside. So David sought the Lord for godly relief. He sought the Lord for godly favor. And even he was after God's own heart. And when you're after God's own heart, and when you're after God's own mind, and you're after God's own power, matter of fact, this is what the, the, the essential keys that we need to survive on this earth. Nothing else matters. Come on, somebody. Nothing else matters until you're after God's own heart. You're after God's mind. You're after God's spirit. You're after his power. Then things begin to make sense because you begin to understand individually. You understand the things that you're experiencing individually. You understand your growth. You understand your increase. You understand your decrease. You understand grace. You understand favor. You understand attacks. You understand problems. You understand breakthrough. And you understand power. 
when you're after God's heart, when you're after God's mind, when you're after God's power, you're after God's spirit. So David, David, David felt bad for what he had done. He didn't just pray. He prayed a sincere prayer. Because I don't know about you, there was times that I messed up and just prayed a prayer. I just threw a little something out there and I found myself going back to what I asked God to forgive me from. But when I got down on my knees and I prayed a sincere prayer, he heard me. Not only did he hear me, but he opened up my eyes in that situation. God will restore you. Somebody shout the effect of fervent prayer of a righteous man gets all of God's attention. Mess around and get serious with your prayer. So he says, he says, restore. Otherwise, give me my joy back. Give me my joy back. Give me my joy back. I want the joy of safety back on me. I want to know I'm in good hands. I want to know I'm in. I want to know. I want to know that. I know that I'm protected. I want to know that even though I messed up, you still got my back. We know. We know. No willful, we know willful sin will forfeit this kind of joy. Will willful sin will deprive us of it, of it all. But 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 we know when we truly repent and we truly come to God and ask Him to restore our joy, He will rebuild us, He will establish us, and then He will repair everything we once had. Sometimes the mess up was so that we can be. Stop. He says, uphold me with your free spirit. Isn't it, isn't it eccentric that God has a free spirit and Satan has a spirit of bondage? God has a spirit of liberty, but Satan has a spirit of bondage. Yokes burdens depression oppression suppression obsession and possession so he says he says uphold me with your free spirit well he said you give me back my joy i'll worship you in the sanctuary i'll worship you in the streets i'll worship you in my bedroom i worship you in my car i worship you because there is none like you i worship you there is none like you I searched over There is none like you A lot of times worship is interrupted because the joy is gone A lot of times worship people can't really worship like they want to worship because the joy is gone but God has said, I brought you here to do today to let you know I will restore you. Give him praise right there. So he says, give me a willing, unforced spirit. Satan forces his spirit on you. But God give you a willing spirit. Unforced. Free to worship free to praise free to dance 
free to scream, free to krisiki roba, liki andorobo, free. She said, "Give me my joy back." What? Or who hurt you? Are you married or divorced to that hurt? How did you heal from that hurt? How did you grow from that pain? That that happened to you, what did you grow about it? What did you grow about it? Jesus said that stumbling blocks or temptations and traps are set to lure one into sin. And they will surely come, but woe be, judgment is coming to him whom they come. It would be better for a millstone. As large as one turned by a donkey is hung around his neck. And he was hung and hurtled into the sea for him to cause one of these little ones to stumble in sin and lose their faith. My God. to ask yourself, Lord, can I allow you to, to support me? Can I allow you to support me? After all I've been through, most people don't even know they can ask God to sustain them. They can ask God to support them. They can ask God to help them get out of that mess. He said, you can cast all your cares upon me because I care. You can turn your board burdens over to me, and I'll intervene. He said, you can bring everything to me. And if I be for you, I'm more than the world against you. Don't worry about backbiters. They're just practicing. Don't worry about gossipers. They can't over talk what I spoke into your life. Kikarabosi andarabuyende. Revenge belongs to me, says Lord. I will repay. Tell somebody God will restore you. David, as I heard, became low and weak in spirit. At least he was smart enough to pray. He became low and he became weak in spirit. And he began to pray. He said, uphold me with your free spirit. Otherwise, he said, I'm ready. I can't do this on my own spirit. I'm not a sufficient enough. I, if I did this, I'd be left to myself and I would certainly fall. So uphold me with your spirit and reverse the evil spirit that cast me down from my excellency. Oh, oh. close your eyes. Let's pray that. Say, Lord. Say, Lord, I'm ready. I can't do this with my own spirit. It's not sufficient enough. If I be left to myself, I would certainly fall. So uphold me with your spirit. Reverse, reverse the evil spirit that cast me down from my excellency from the place I'm supposed to be in the name of Jesus and I give you praise for restoring me giving praise resting on our feet resting on our feet give God some praise right there I want to share with you since you prayed that prayer and you believe it the Lord told me to tell you trouble don't last pain don't last misery don't last and you're being reinstated from your hurt thank you Jesus you're being reestablished to walk and live in the things of God 
your whole entire relationship is being rebuilt with the Lord and God saying I'm restoring you right now your delight in the Lord just became greater because of your salvation you ought to give him praise somebody shout I'm in position to receive every desire I've longed for in my heart because my delight just went to another level in Jesus name giving praise the Lord said your pleasures will be fulfilled because there's a firmness in your walk he said you will see the gladness of your heart and no frustration or foul spirit will cancel your inheritance of the Lord says the Lord of hosts God is about to restore the Lord Jesus by way of the Holy Ghost is getting ready to support you in your everyday trials he's getting ready to support you in your everyday tribulation he's getting ready to support you in your everyday torment everything that's been tormenting you is getting ready to break off in midair because God said I will restore you somebody shout I'm coming out with victory I'm coming out with victory in Jesus name the Lord said the Lord God said I will cancel everything that come up against you because you have put me first every time you put me first I have to do what's next everything that come up against you let it hurry up and do what it has to do so they can see that there is no weapon formed against you that's gonna prosper giving praise and the Lord said this year is turning into a year of provision for you some of you are entering into 2023 already because you held your peace oh, you prayed in the midst of everything you were going through you laughed when it hurt it and when you cried my God swiped every tear from your eyes and he told me to tell you stay faithful stay faithful you ain't seen nothing yet look up because it's on his way in Jesus name in Jesus name God said, I'm going to do a spiritual maintenance on you just to keep your focus. I'm going to do spiritual maintenance on you just to keep your focus. I'm going to do spiritual maintenance on you. I'm going to adjust. I'm going to reset. I'm going to tune up. I'm going to fine tune. The devil should have kept you while he had a chance. You messed around and came in the house of God and saw some more folk that they went through a whole lot of stuff lifting up holy hands and giving God the praise. side to yourself say no longer no longer will I feel abandoned no longer will I feel like I'm left all alone no longer will I feel like nobody cares prophesy to yourself no longer no longer will I feel like I felt when I thought about giving up no longer Somebody shout because the Lord is supporting me. The Lord is supporting me. The Lord, every time I cry, God wipes away every tear. Every time I hurt, God comes along and rescues me. I'm going to make you more eager than you ever were before. I'm going to make you more eager than you ever were before. This time, this time, nothing will stop you from giving you all. My God, somebody better give God some praise. Fire, 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 fire! He on the robo Somebody shout, my fire's coming back. My fire's coming back. 
my fire's coming back whatever happened to me it was good it was good that I was afflicted it was good that they lied on me it was good that they talked about me it was good that they persecuted me it was good it was good that they came up against me it was good it was good it was good while the hurt lasted it was good first came the hurt now comes the help somebody shout my help is here she corobo she under said you're going to be more enthusiastic about your tears of joy than your tears of sadness you're going to be more enthusiastic because something is going on on your inside you've been looking for it on the outside you've been looking for it on the inside on the outside but God said I've been doing something on your inside this is why you've been quiet this is why you haven't been saying too much because I've been reestablishing I've been repairing I've been restoring something on the inner stuff you couldn't tell nobody asked somebody shout I'm excited I'm excited because the Lord Jesus never gave up on me. He never gave up on me. When I felt like throwing in the towel, he threw it back. When I felt like giving up, he said, get up, you're almost there. I come to tell somebody today, hold on to God's unchanging hand. He's seen your prayers. He's seen your tears. Get your focus off of the evil ones because just like the grass, just like the grass, they gonna wither away. Get your eyes off those that have done you wrong. He said, revenge is mine, said the Lord of hosts. Let go. Tell somebody, say, let go. Let go let God get out of his way let God have his way you too busy worrying about your enemy when you should be worrying about your blessings you too busy worrying about your enemy but you should be worrying about your future you too busy worrying about them that's coming up against you when you should be worrying about the concern about how God is restoring you giving praise prophesy to yourself lift those hands and pray in the Holy Ghost my God the pool of Shalom is here Jesus Jesus, whenever he got to the pool of Shalom, when he got there, his presence had already exhibited excitement. And the spirit of restoration is here. The spirit of healer is here. Whatever you've been going through in your body, this is your faith. You don't even got to hang around up here long. You just walk up here and say, I receive my healing, total healing, in the name of Jesus. God bless you. You just watch and lift those hands. Say, I receive my healing, total healing, in the name of Jesus. I see prophesy. I speak the sickness and disease. Go! In the name of Jesus, minds be regulated. Kurasi anturo boyeke. Curses, generational curses, be broke, be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, it's restoration time. It's restoration.